Yo gamers, this is Gilbert and welcome to the video. A few years ago, wait, a few years ago, man, it's actually years ago, uh, the years have gone by, I made a video showing a mod that builds roads for you. You can see that it's like, oh my god, 2017. Oh, also, a year ago. Oh my god, so much time has passed. I made this in 2020 and this, it's almost 2022. Okay, okay, back to the topic. How I imported roadmaps using image overlay mod. So, you have like a full-on uh, roadmap to show where you can build around because uh, the OSM mod had been incompatible. I think it was Park Life that broke it. Now, there are new ways of doing that again since there are other people that have done this and it works. Yeah, I'm very excited about that and I'll be using that to make new roads, new maps, and everything like that. And also, one of the biggest things that stopped me from making new IRL, IRL maps is that the website that I used to import height maps no longer works. You, you remember Terrain Party, right? Terrain.party? It no longer works. I really love that site. Good thing I was able to make a lot of maps before it stopped working. But now, I got a replacement website for that. And I even made new ways of importing satellite images for image overlay. So I have now higher quality satellite photos and putting that in game. And you have seen some of that during my live streams. Yeah, I've never created a tutorial how I do that. Now, we are going to make such a tutorial. And another reason is that there are many people in the comments that watch the old videos and they're really angry about that. So I, this is like to appease them. Bruh. Bruh. The video is about how I'm gonna be creating the new height maps import them OSM data and also the high resolution satellite image as well in game and I will call this how I make IRL maps with OSM import plus image overlay 2022 edition <laughs> this is such a long title I don't know how I'm gonna make that fit into a thumbnail I don't know okay before I begin please leave a like and subscribe to the channel as I'm trying to reach 6,000 subs by 2022. It really helps and would push me to make better content. Now, to begin, let's start with the height map. This is a new height map, so called City Skylines Map Generator. You can see the name of it, and link will be in the description below. Thanks to a commenter, but lost the name due to YouTube not letting me see the comment as it's a link. I don't think uh, YouTube allows links anymore. But still, thank you to that commenter, if uh, whoever you are. This new generator comes with an even better UI and uses satellite image. And I could zoom into more secluded areas like Pagasa Island and Bajo de Masinloc that does not really work in terrain.party as it uses like open street maps. It's useful but I can't zoom close enough. But we are going to pick a location with roads that I will be using uh, for future projects known more as my NSCR project which is now the Marilao and Makawayan cities. Those are that's like my last uh, gap that I haven't worked on in the NSCR North project. I'm gonna do South next afterwards. <laughs> uh, how many maps I have to make just to <laughs> do this one, just to make this one uh, infrastructure project. Okay, when you pick the desired location, at the end of the screen you can see icons on the left. Pick the zip icon saying download zip with PNG and longitude and latitude information clicking will give you a prompt showing what you should name it 
and it will download a zip file containing the height map and location info. Next is to press the road icon saying download OSM map. Uh, this will take a while as it says long wait so it will take its time to gather the OSM data for download. It's more complex. The more complex the road system, the longer it will take to download. You may, you may need to wait for this for a while. Now, you have those files. Next, is to get ourselves a satellite image that we can use as reference for building the detailed IRL cities. Okay, if you don't have it, we will need to download Google Earth Pro. Yes, that's the app that we will be using to get high quality satellite images. And good thing that Google Earth Pro is free. So let's try to get it. To download, search for Google Earth Pro in your search engine. So I'm guessing you're just going to use Google, Google anyway. Search for Google Earth Pro, not Google Earth nor Google Maps because Google Earth is just, it's, you will be using the browser. While Google Maps is also, you're going to use a browser. Google Earth Pro is actually a standalone program that I have been using since elementary. Uh, it's one of the many apps that I always install. Now, just go to the website Google Earth Pro and just download and install the program. Now, in Google Earth Pro, I will just go to the same place as you pick for your height map and make sure you align the directions of the map by pressing the north part of the compass on the top right. The purpose of that is just to keep it aligned with the reference map you're going to be using for city skylines because if you don't do that, you'll have to turn the image overlay which is a pain to do. Okay, now if you have picked your desired location and properly aligned, it's time to save that location. Warning guys, this will be a massive image, like very big and so big that you will have like it can go as much as 50 megabytes. So if you have a weaker system, be warned, you may have to use a lower resolution. Like for, for example, like the save file, the, the final image that we're going to be using in CD Skylines is 4,000 by 4,000. Yes, that's how big the resolution is. So if I were you, if you can't use 4000 by 4000, uh, you'll have to have a smaller image, but I'll show you how to do that after this. So be warned, be warned. To begin, press file, save and save image. Now, before you save, uh, we need to do something first before we do a final save. You can see there are some random legends that you don't really need because we need to have a clear part of the map itself because if you have the legends uh, popping out, it will sometimes just block some of the things that you need to see. And you may want to remove it. For me, I don't need title, legend, and I tend to keep the scale and compass just in case. Then you can adjust the scale of the legends, uh, whatever it suits you. Now, before again, again, before saving, we will need a completely square resolution. But you can see the uh, the resolution is not a square. It's like a different value compared to another one. They need to be exact. And what I would do to make this possible is that I would just put the entire Google Earth Pro into windowed mode and literally just adjust the shape of the window to match with the resolution to a square. I would pick the resolution 4800 by 4800 as that is the largest resolution I can make. Now, press save image and name your file and save. It might take a while as Google Earth Pro will process that satellite image into a single square image. Now, from some clarification of what we're gonna be 
doing, I created this folder and placed all of the files that we downloaded and saved into one location like the height maps, the OSM data, and the satellite image. Oh no, no. First, what we're gonna do in this folder is to extract the zip file. And then when you have ex extracted the, the zip file, place the OSM file inside it. Then I would open the folder to see the height map. You can, it, the height map is like a small, a black and white image uh, showing elevation data. The darker the elevation data, the, the darker the color, the lower the elevation data is. That's how it works. And then, now we're going to open uh, the run command. I would just press the Windows key and R to open run command. And then, in the run command, you'll have to type in percent local app data percent because we're not going to app data itself we're, the, we're gonna go to the local folder where code local and then you'll have to look for the folder inside it called colossal order so and then you'll see a city skylines folder open it and then go to add-ons open that map editor open that and then you'll see height maps in height map copy that downloaded height maps and then paste it on that folder for me, there's already lots of height maps because I've been using this for a while now. But you'll see an empty folder and that's where you're gonna paste the file there. Next step is to make the image, the satellite image that we saved from Google Earth. We're gonna make it compatible to City Skylines. Currently, the save image is in the JPEG extension which will not work. And we will need also to shrink it to the desired resolution of 4000 by 4000. I would just use paint to do this. Now, we're gonna resize the file to 4000 by 4000 and then save the file as PNG. PNG is the extension that is compatible with City Skylines, especially uh, with the image overlay mod. Now, with the PNG file prepared, we will need to place on the right folder for import. To begin, we will go to the game's default installation folder. And if you brought, if you bought it in Steam, I don't know if it's gonna work with uh, the Microsoft Store. You'll have to uh, find that out yourself. You will need to go to your Steam folder, Steam apps, Commons and then the city skylines installation folder and then finally inside the installation folder look for the folder files open that one and just place the satellite image there the png you saved and there you go all the files you will need before starting the game now let's start the game and also to subscribe to the mods themselves now Let's start the game and also subscribe to the mods. Now we are in the game and before we load up the map editor, we should open the Steam Workshop and subscribe to the image overlay mod. If you have something better that's, then it's fine. This is what I use and it works for me. After that, subscribe to the OpenStreetMap import mod. Both mods will be in the video description. <clears throat> now, with both mods installed, we start the game and load up the map editor. Select new and pick your season and let it load. If you have learned anything at this point, please leave a like and subscribe. I have more content coming. Welcome to the map editor. As you can see, there are some errors. Ignore that. I have lots of mod in I have lots of mods installed. And you can see the map I imported is now visible thanks to the image overlay mod. If you don't see it, try pressing shift enter. And if that doesn't work, we start the game again. <laughs> because it had already happened to me. And you can see in this video that 
uh, for some reason, I could not use any of the controls. So, just restart the game to fix that problem. Now, let's begin by importing the height maps. Click the icon, import height map, and it will show you the latest height maps you've imported when you select that. You will see the height map applied to the map itself immediately. Now, to the part where we can import OSM data. The biggest reason why I use OSM data is to make sure that I would scale the image overlay correctly and place it properly. So, to begin, press the road icon on the right to open the new OSM import mod. First, on the path, place the location of the OSM file we downloaded and saved. And the file name and file type is also needed. Press the OSM from file. This will temporarily freeze the game. This is normal. Now that is done, you will need a list of road types you can apply to the map. Just select the ones that you want. For me, I would need the motorways, the primary roads, and their links. I don't really need all of them for the purpose of limiting the use of the awesome uh, road types in the map editor. Because if you put too much, you cannot edit the map anymore. It's a problem. And I tend to just put the ones that I really need for reference only. After selecting the road types you want, please press the make roads button and watch the magic. Now with the roads have been made, it is time to align the roads. The height maps may not match, but it, that can be fixed by some landscaping and then link the roads from end to end. And now, finish working on the map and then save. Now, with all of that, you can finally enjoy your new map with imported roads and images for your build. I really hope that you like this video. I tried making this as fast as I can and to be released before the New Year's as my Christmas gift to you guys. If you find this video useful, please support my channel by leaving a like and subscribe and share this to anyone who needs it. Thank you so much. And I wish you all Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.